Hi everyone, it's Mike with the Astro Explorers, and I'm here again to talk to you about your Celestron Nexstar 8SE. Now I know in the last video I said I was going to talk to you about aligning your telescope with the stars using a Wi-Fi dongle as well as using your laptop, but since the release of my last video, some people have brought to my attention another good way to align your telescope. And with that, what another recommendation was is to actually use the sky align functionality from your handheld controller. So what I want to do tonight is go ahead and go over that information on how to use it and see if it's any easier than using the two star auto alignment. So stick around. I'll show you how to use the sky align and then we can discuss if it's better or worse than the two star auto align. All right, so one of the benefits they brought up was when using just sky align, you don't actually have to pick which stars you're trying to find to begin with. What you can do is actually just point to three different stars in the night sky that are nice, bright, and visible. So tonight, I do have clear skies. We do have a couple stars out, including it looks like Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. So with those, we can go through point at three of them and what was the recommendation is do two of them kind of close together and then slew the telescope to the other side and align to a third star and then that should auto align your telescope without us having to actually know any of the stars in the night sky all right so if you haven't already seen the previous video go ahead check it out here it's going to go over the details on how to set up your initial alignment such as date, time, location, going over daylight savings time as well as standard time. If you're not familiar with that, it is very important that you watch that first because it'll give you the basics on how to use your handheld controller to set up that information. So I'm not going to repeat it in this video, but go ahead, check it out and it'll have that information for you. And then I'll go ahead and show you skyline using three bright objects in the night sky. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're at the, that default screen. We're going to choose enter. And then our first default option is skyline. So after we choose skyline, it's going to go ahead and take us to those options to set up our date, location, time, etc. So I'm just going to choose skyline. I'm going to enter the rest of that information on my own, and then I'll show you the next steps. All right, so after putting in all that information, we're on this screen it's asking us to push enter to continue. So it's gonna give us the steps on how to get those three stars. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and push enter and follow the prompts along. And I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so first it's asking us to center on object one. So I'm going to slew the telescope over to object one in the finder scope once I have that in the finder scope, I'm going to push enter and that's going to give us the option to center it in our IP. All right, so I have the object in the night sky centered on my finder scope. I'm going to go ahead and push enter. And then after I push enter, what it's asking me to do is use the directional buttons to center the object in my eyepiece. So I'm going to do that. I actually have Mars as my first object. And then after I have it centered in the eyepiece, what I'm gonna do is push align. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll give you the next step. All right, so now that I have Mars aligned by using the align key, it's asking me to find a second object. So I've got a couple bright stars over by Mars. It's gonna ask me to center the object in the finder scope. And it's saying press enter when ready. So I'm gonna push enter then I'm gonna use my directional buttons to align the finder scope on the star. And then after that's done, I'm going to center the object in the eyepiece and hit align. So I'm gonna go through those steps real quick and then we'll go on to the third object. And remember, when you're doing your alignment, always go up and to the right as your last movements because that takes out any slack. All right, so I have the second star aligned in our eyepiece. Next thing I'm going to do is find object number three. Now, from my previous video, I know Vega 
is over here on this side of my house at this time of night. So I'm going to go ahead and slew my telescope all the way over to the other side and align the finder scope. After I've aligned the finder scope, I'm going to hit enter and then it's going to ask me to align it in the eyepiece. So I'm going to slew, I'm going to push enter once it's inside my eyepiece. When I do that, it then goes into fine motor controls. So the slewing is much slower. So you want to make sure that the object is in the finder scope before you push enter and then try to align it in your eyepiece. Otherwise, if you're trying to slew over to that object in the night sky, it's going to be very slow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And then after I have that done, we'll see if the alignment worked. Okay, I just wanted to take a quick pause. Thank you for watching my videos. I am going to be coming out with many more of these, so if you are enjoying them, please subscribe. I'm going to go over many more details on aligning the telescope, upgrades, uh, best way to do power for your telescope. That was one of the issues I ran into while recording this video. I had issues with the batteries running out. So I'm going to do videos on how to power your telescope and much, much more. So if you're enjoying them, please subscribe and I'll get back to the tutorial on this one. All right, so I went ahead, aligned to Vega. It went through its process and it said matches found and that we were aligned. Now it's telling me I can hit back to view matched objects. I'm gonna do that. It caught that I got Mars, so good job on that. I'm gonna use the up and down keys here. The second object was Aldebaran, so I'll have to look and see if that's the right thing, but I believe it. And then the third object was Vega. So I know I did Mars. I knew I did Vega. So the telescope was actually smart enough to find those on its own, which is awesome. I, <laughs> I haven't actually tested this before, so this is new to me. And that's the great thing about this community is you can put stuff out there. No one's judgmental. They let you know, hey, here's another way of trying it. And tonight, that seems to have worked. So I'm going to push back, which is one of the things it recommended. And then I'm going to see if I can find some other objects in the night sky to make sure that it's all aligned very well. All right, so it does look like we're aligned. We just went from Vega all the way over to Mars. We're in the finder scope and we're in the eyepiece. So we did a great job of aligning the telescope. It works. Um, I'm actually gonna say this is a much easier way of aligning. You don't have to do two-star alignment, knowing which objects to slew your telescope to. You just pick three objects in the night sky. You pick two on one side, so the telescope over to the other side, pick that. It does all the smart work for you. And at the end of the day, that's why we got this. So if you watch my first video, great. That tells you how to use this. But I would say this is probably the method I would do if I'm going with the Celestron X-Star handheld controller in order to use its go-to functionality. Now, if you have other preferences or other tips and tricks, please leave them in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching this video and clear skies. Would you take a look at that Saturn? So cool. And I caught it before it went down behind the horizon line and behind my house. Gotta say this alignment was a lot faster than the other nights. Awesome.